Welcome to f fucking tech. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to review the current fucking tech watch collection. And we're going to talk about the stories and features and uh, yeah. So for now, I'm going to take this out because it screws up the camera. Now we get an overview of everything in here. So I'm going to start with the oldest. <clears throat> oldest watch. I think I may have had the uh, Transformer watch. It's like a GoBot watch or something. It's like a little robot that clips on and then you can take out the robot and transform it. I may have had that. But this is my first official <laughs> watch that's uh, currently uh, not 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 doing its best because it is in fact from 1985 so this is a 1985 DBC a Casio DBC 60 now this uh, could store 60 phone numbers 60 schedules and stuff like that so um, you could put phone numbers in it and have in schedules so the schedules you could program a date, a time, and an alarm would would ring at that particular time on that date on a date, not not like a daily alarm. It would uh, ring only on that particular date at the specific time with a specific message on the screen. So also has calculator, a stopwatch, a timer, but. Uh, the case broke in the back and it got uh, it, it, water came in and now the uh, LCD panel is not great so I could uh, buy another panel on eBay and fix it then uh, eventually it'll do something like my second DBC which is here now when my first Casio DBC failed no, I was a, I was a kid in '85, so I, I love that thing. <clears throat> and then I got this in in the 1990s, '92 or something. <clears throat> now this was the replacement, and this is the Casio DBC 150, and I love this because this is way before we had um, cell phones or Palm Pilots or Blackberries and stuff like that. So this one stores 150 phone numbers or schedules. And this one uh, adds the uh, world time, has world time on it too. As, oh, the battery seems a bit weak. And that's the thing with these things. The batteries, they don't uh, put, I changed the battery like last year, maybe two years ago. So battery is not great. So the backlight is, uh, yeah, it's not doing well. Uh, turns off when I press the backlight. So, uh, wonderful watch. I love this thing. I had I used this until 2007 or so. Uh, 2002 is when I started using Palm Pilots, and then after that, like Palm Trios and stuff like that. Um, so I didn't really need this so much because I could store phone numbers. And, and schedules and stuff and palm pilots and cell phone and stuff like that. So this sort of got replaced by the cell phone and palm pilot. But I love this because it's it's a geek watch. It does everything except it's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So not great for uh, resisting uh, diving and stuff like that. <clears throat> so right now, uh, it's paired with the Casio AE 1200 on the same strap. And the idea with this came to me when I was watching, uh, Alien, the first, the first Alien movie. And we look at, and you know, you look at the, uh, the crew on the Nostromo, they have like a double watch. And what they actually have is like, there, there's an orange plastic base or rubber base under both watches. And they have this on their wrist, like two watches. And it actually it was actually the first uh, digital resin watch that Casio made that they have in the movie. 
So uh, it was a pretty space age back then, I guess. So the idea with, with this is to replicate that. Is to replicate the double watch on the, uh, of the Nostromo crew. So I like that. I like the calculator keypad here with the alphanumeric input, tied with like a little uh, world map and some analog uh, indicators there. And uh, so basically, you can have like a like a pretty rad uh, <laughs> watch combo. So this is the point of this. Um, it's very hard to find straps that uh, fit two watches like this, so it's not obvious, not not easy. So uh, this is the idea. So uh, like 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 the, the the first Casio DBC, uh, I wore it to have information on me, and I always had that one watch, and I had this same reason. I always had information on me. Uh, I had uh, world time uh, timer. Uh, chronograph and all that stopwatch so that's the reason i had this because that was my only watch now now i've had other i've had other watches since now this is just a gimmick now i do wear this combo watch i do wear it when i'm meeting with other tech nerds <laughs> so uh i've only had this like for a year so like the, this thing so i've only wore it like uh, maybe once or twice so uh, strapped on a little compass there. So that that's the uh, DBC 150 and the AE 1200 stacked together. Now these are still battery powered, like there's no solar or anything. So obviously these batteries uh, will die out. And later in 2004 or something, I had received this as a gift. It's a Lax watch, battery powered. And it's, uh, they don't make these anymore. I think the company's still around them, but they, they make other stuff. But this is basically like a spy watch. So uh, this watch is very simple. You have uh, just the time adjustment and there's, you can replace the, no, the battery's dead. And I put this in like last year, so it didn't last very long. Uh, what this watch has is like, uh, it's, it has like, a, when, when it's like this, it's a hidden USB port. It, it's written USB, so it's not, super subtle <laughs> but you do have a usb port you can connect it to your computer and actually have on your wrist storage uh, for 128 megs or 256 megs megs not gigs megs so that's, that's like 2004 so it wasn't a lot so uh, <laughs> so a little spy watch I, I i don't think i've ever used it as such but uh I think I think the um, the increasing size of USB keys in the, at that time was was increasing more and more. So I didn't really didn't really use it that much. <clears throat> now after this, uh, I think 2006 or yeah, 2006 or something, the company I was working for, I won. Wait, that was 2000. Yeah, 2005 or something. I received like a Citizen solar powered watch, the Echo Drive. Uh, I don't have it anymore. It was uh, given to the ex-wife. Um, so, yeah. Nice watch. Um, solar powered. That was my first solar powered watch. So, I had no idea that existed. And when I got that, I freaked out. Now, um, that watch, at a certain time before it was given to my wife, I thought I had lost it. And uh, to replace it, I bought this. <clears throat> uh, because I like the Citizen uh, Solar Watches, the Echo Drive. This is a Citizen with the um, movement, which is called E820. There's a lot of this with the same movement inside. Uh, with different styles like it's it's ridiculous how many styles and shapes and forms they can make with the same movements uh, the E820 is one of them and I bought this one because this is my this is my watch my nice watch my classy watch because I bought it because of the gold and the contrast with the gold and the silver and the black there 
uh, little gold on the uh, on the band and gold on the side here. So I uh, got this for about 400 bucks at the time, Canadian. Now these old Casio, Casio DBC, they were like uh, not quite a hundred bucks at the time. So uh, not bad. Now they said it's an eco drive, so this is obviously solar powered, so it, it <clears throat> charges with just ambient light. I don't, you don't need to put it in the sun necessarily, so it's always charged up. And the features on this one, uh, the, it has uh, uh, some alarm. We have a chronograph. If the take out, pull out this once, you can move the dial on the bottom there. And that's supposed to be like a chronograph. Yeah, here we go. So like a stopwatch and then you can stop it, reset or reset. I don't really use it on this watch. This, this is like the fancy party watch. So I don't really uh, use it that much for it. So it shows 24 hour dial. And this other dial here is, uh, forget what it is. So there's a uh, world time all You can have like a dual uh, <clears throat> time zone on there. Uh, per per perpetual calendar, which is very interesting because not a lot of uh, Citizen Eco, wa Eco Drive watches have the perpetual calendar because you can actually set this. Uh, it's a little bit convoluted the way it's done. But you can give it the, the year, uh, the month, and all that, <clears throat> and it'll it'll uh, it'll keep the time. Even if there's like a, what, what, with the leap years and all that stuff, it keeps the proper date. You don't need to reset the date or change hours or whatever. Um, the only thing I need to adjust is the uh, back and forth the. Uh, uh, toy twice a year when we change the um, the, the the time we forward and backward the time so this is my nice classy party watch so i bought this to replace the other <laughs> when i thought i lost it and i didn't lose it i found it at a friend's place so still nice i still wear this the uh, they got this 2014 so i still use this still wear it when I go to fancy parties now this one is another citizen equal drive a little bit more uh, feature rich this one is uh, citizen Skyhawk I got this in 2016 as a gift <clears throat> and this is my work watch so I wear this every day to work so I've been wearing this every day for at, at in work days since 2016 now the Skyhawk, this this particular movement is the Citizen U600. There's a little more variants like the U680 for the later models and stuff like that. That that's Sky. So what this Skyhawk does is everything. You've got two two display times here. You got the UC, UTC time. You got a 24-hour dial. Uh, gives you like it tells you how many like what what's the time during 24 hours you got a battery level and when and this watch synchronizes with uh, antennas <clears throat> around the world to synchronize time with at atomic clocks at these uh, places um, sometimes works <laughs> so what I like uh, so when, when you're syncing it gives it, shows you which time zone is trying to sing because they have different quick frequencies for different uh, locations so this one also does all kinds of stuff uh timer a chronograph world time you have two time zones world time stuff like that so you can choose your time zones and it will show the proper time um what i like about this i have you have analog display and digital display so uh Quit the, quit the techno thing. Now, this is quite a watch. And I love it. Waterproof. Uh, other Echo Drive also waterproof. Um, yeah, they're both 200 meters. So, I mean, this is a serious watch. Very nice watch. 
So I appreciate the gift, and it's quite a gift. This this is this is at the time six seven hundred dollars, and I think it's the same price now, um, depending on the different Skyhawk models. So I mean, I mean, this is this is peak peak citizen here. This is uh, top brass. <laughs> so that's quite the watch. Now. <clears throat> So my watches have different purposes. Now this is my party, nice party watch, work watch. Now later on I found this. Uh, you'll have the video on my channel, the fucking tech channel, about how I transformed this. It used to be a big black chunk of not so great, and it transformed it into a, into this nice white version of it so this is the casio rangeman gw9400 original in black so i got this in the pawn shop for 120 bucks then i changed some parts out of the compass even though it does have a, have a compass in it so i got this just because it's it's like the mac daddy of of g-shock watches basically it has sensors on top of uh, basic time so you have your world time, have your stopwatch, timer, uh, alarms, I think it has five alarms. Yeah, five alarms, snooze alarm, uh, sunrise, sundown times for each day. Uh, you can save data, uh, the, uh, like sensor data, you can save that. Uh, gives you when it received last the synchronization signal to synchronize time because this also gets synchronizes time with atomic clocks through various antennas around the world. Now what you're seeing here in the in the front face is a barometric graph because it has a barometer in it, so we can switch it to the day of the week or the barometer. Now I. I got I like this because it's like it's it's like a super tech nerd watch too. So we got the sensors, you got altimeter here. Get your compass shown in the little dial there. And you got the barometer with temperature also. So it's just like a cool tech nerd watch. <clears throat> and uh I just enjoy tech and it does this like the just wanted to watch have a watch that had all these things and it's a nice watch it's solar also so you never have to charge it so i mean very similar to the echo drive where it's solar uh synchronizes with the atomic clocks <clears throat> and this version right now why it's in white also it's it's uh i had the white strap and i changed it for this needle strap but um, uh, dual tone. It's like a, the James Bond type of strap there. Now this watch, the purpose of this is my ostentatious watch, meaning that I bring this, I wear this to parties. Not fancy parties, just parties or gatherings because it's a uh, it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, like a look at me watch. <laughs> so, it's a uh, it's a discussion starter, I guess, but it's like it's a huge, massive thing, and uh, that's the purpose of this watch, just for parties and gatherings as a conversation starter. And if you compare it to the other ones, it's it's quite big. If you look on the right, this is the PRW30. This is the Casio PRW30, which is a Casio Pro Trek, which is a different uh, line. And which is for uh, outdoorsy stuff. Now, this watch, um, got it used for about 200 bucks from Japan because it's not sold here in North America. Now, this is just about the same feature set as the Rangeman. It has everything the Rangeman does. But this watch, I got it because it ha has, has everything. Small, compact. Uh, solar barometer, all this stuff. Exact same thing as the Rangeman, but smaller and lighter. So this is basically my weekend watch. So I can have all the the, the tech nerd stuff 
without the bulkiness. And that's the purpose of this watch here. So we have sun up, sun down. Okay, that's the uh, recording stuff. It got the stopwatch, timer, five alarms, world time. Last time it received the uh, synchronization signal from the towers. Then back to time. And uh, I can choose the barometer here or the date. I like to have the barometer. You can have an alarm if the pressure goes up or down quite fast. There's an alarm. So we got the altimeter here. In the middle, on to the right, we got the barometer with some uh, temperature. And we also have the compass. And it shows around the dial there. So this is my weekend watch to have everything. And I added these also on the bracelets just to have temperature and just to have it look cool because it's not a not a looker of a watch like it's not it's very subdued it's very uh, plain but it has everything and it's super light and and thin if you compare it to the rangeman <laughs> it's quite the difference <laughs> so, so even compared with the skyhawk i mean the the rangeman is is quite huge so this is the the bulk of the watches that I act, wear actively and how about this there? There's this there. Yeah, these are the ones I actively wear depending on the uh, the occasion. So that's the fucking tech uh, watch collection and uh, we'll do something with this maybe. I'm not showing here the ones that I built or modified and I'm, I'm going to give to other people. I also have this. I have my own another dual watch system. I bought this to, just to try with my DBC 150C and then I bought the black one just to match after that. But uh, when I find a proper strap for this, I can have another dual watch set up and actually give it to someone. So the AE 1200 is, is very good. 10 year battery, so very nice. Got the analog watch. You can, act, you can actually put phone, num phone numbers in this, which is wild. So, uh, so nice analog uh, dial here. So this is something I'll, I'll maybe get a strap and I'll give it away. Give it to some friends. So so this is my active collection and uh, there you go. Fuckingtech.com